Dabs, you too cold, bruh. What you doing? Good morning. It's a bit over half past seven and I have just woke up. I already only managed to wash my face and that's all. So good morning. I am still pretty tired. Honestly, I plan to wake up at approximately 8 a.m. But I woke up at half past seven. So it doesn't matter if it's quarantine or if it's a normal day. I still wake up and immediately switch on my podcast and then like change my clothes from pajamas to my like home clothes and meditate and then get out of my room. So I changed into my home clothes, into my sporty clothes and I'm a bit more awake. I listened to a podcast called Thick and Thin. I'll later tell you about all the podcasts I listen right now and podcasts I listen usually. So right now I'm going to meditate. And for meditation I use the inside timer. Usually I choose a guided meditation or just some song or some silence but usually it's a guided meditation and for me it takes from 5 to 15 minutes it depends on my mood on my day and on the meditation's topic so let's go also i wanted to mention that during my let's say school days work days during during quarantine i usually wake up somewhere around 7 i mean i used to wake up somewhere around half past Eight, but it was pretty late because I had less tasks, less time to do the tasks and the exercises I needed for school and also if I, I woke up, I exercised, did all my usual morning routine and then I had less time for my school work so it wasn't really that productive so right now this week I wake up at 7 a.m. in the morning and manage to do much more. I even thought to wake up at half past 6 this morning, but because I had some trouble to fall asleep previous nights and I was very, very tired, I decided to sleep in a bit. But, I mean, it isn't really a sleeping in, but for... Because for a weekend, if it would be a weekend, it wouldn't definitely be a sleeping in, it would be getting up earlier. But for a work day, let's call it a bit of sleeping in. That's my breakfast. Here I have some buckwheat porridge with cow milk and different seeds and other stuff. Blueberries, banana with cinnamon, almonds and yeah, good in appetit. So I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and watch some Ukrainian TV show called Shkola, School. So good in appetit. So I've obviously finished already my breakfast and right now it's some sport time for me in the morning. Usually it would be like 
somewhere about 30 minutes, 30 minute workout. But right now, this morning, I don't really feel like it and I don't have that much time for working out. I would rather spend it for learning because I have a lot to do actually. And this morning I'm going to do the 10 minute yoga session, like stretching and stuff. So I have my mat already right here. I'm ready to start, so let's start. And guys, after a while, when I'll have my morning coffee or or just daily coffee, then I'll be able to tell you more about my thoughts about quarantine and about other stuff. Because now, although I had breakfast, I'm still pretty dead, <laughs> still pretty sleepy. Yeah, but maybe after some movement, I'll be more alert. We'll see. my first 10 minute session of yoga and right now I'm going to do my second one and it's the 10 minute supermodel yoga routine with yoga with Adrian and Carly Klaas yeah I can show you so that's my second session of yoga today so that I can get 20 minutes all together I am done with yoga for today Hey guys, it's a few hours later. I have done some schoolwork and right now I am making my coffee, making my milk hot and preparing my coffee with milk because I need it so much right now. <laughs> but I'm not that, I don't know, tired every day because for example yesterday I woke up and even without the coffee, without anything, I was like energized, ready to work out, like whoa, whoa. And like the weather was also much, much sunnier. And like today, it's like, I mean, it is sunny, but it, no, it's not that sunny as it was yesterday. I guess it's colder as well. And it looks like it's going to rain, so. Maybe the weather influences me a bit as well, but let's see. Let's see what will happen after a coffee and an apple. The drink of gods is finally served. That's how my life will look for a few hours, I guess. Schoolwork, schoolwork tasks, coffee, but I'll finish it soon, water. That's my life. Damn, this shit too cold, bro. What you do? So, before leaving the house and going for today's walk finally outside, there, I'm going to tell you about some podcasts I'm listening to right now. So, I have top three, and the first one is What We Said. The podcast is made by two best friends, two girls, JC and Chelsea. They each know each other from, I think, from childhood or from high school, and they both are really close, and they uh, make podcasts, and um, their episodes are about lifestyle, about about all the stuff they had also a podcast together with their husbands and yeah they discuss all things like health and fitness and relationships and school and business and like 
everything psychology everything i really like them they have great energy great jokes and just because they are really close to each other so listening to a podcast feels very entertaining and natural and when i get a bit lonely and want some company at home i switch on their podcast and immediately feel that i'm with my friends yeah the second one is thick and thin podcast it's made by katie balati and she is um uh, she is from new york i think she lives in new york definitely and um she doesn't have any guests on her podcast every episode is only her and she also speaks about different things but mainly she speaks about her thoughts about something she realized about things that are really relevant and popular nowadays and about some of her experiences about her dates her experiences with guys with friends with i don't know how her experience in high school and college and work uh, how she worked uh, in a nine to five job in l'oreal about her experience there and now she's a freelancer about that as well and it's really nice i really recommend it so when i listen to it uh it's it's like more more introverted because she's alone but she's pretty open-minded and like extroverted person but as every episode is only with her so it's more like a talk with a friend and it's more intimate i think and it's more deep so i really enjoy it but yeah it's it's when i want to have some alone in me time i listen to her and the third podcast which i listen to right now is minimalish and uh the host is a woman and she talks about minimalism and lifestyle and all that stuff but as you can understand from the title it's not minimalist or something like that but minimalish and this small ish means that uh it's not like necessarily about minimalism but about things that are important for her for others and just different things about decluttering of course about minimalism and about just the important and small things in life and about homeschooling and she has a two-year-old at home so she talks about parenting and motherhood as well and she has a lot of guests on her podcast and yeah it's it's pretty calm i can also relax and calm down while listening to this podcast so it's a great choice as well good luck for me right now i'm going outside it's probably a bit rainy there but good luck so hello i really like my hair right now so i just came back from walk the weather was pretty nice but right now my trousers are completely wet right like you can't probably see but they are really wet and yeah i'm pretty wet because for some time there was raining and it was raining pretty hard and there weren't that much people but the air after going after rain was so nice i really like so the next podcast that i listened to and i listened i listened to them maybe once a week or once a month or when they are released so i will just name them uh so uh, these are in english gals on the go <laughs> uh, then taking back your power then uh, the health code deliciously ella and millennial minimum millennial minimalist i recommend all of them and then some of the russian podcasts are kim mustali 
мы не договорили. And this, uh, the third podcast is Shipit. It's half Ukrainian and half Russian, like one girl speaks Russian, one Ukrainian, but if you know Russian for example, like me, you can understand it. So you should write them down in your notebook, in your notes somewhere and start listening to them. I listen to my podcast on free app on my iPhone. It's just called podcasts and then I find some podcasts there and listen to them, obviously, yeah, right? So I really recommend to do you the same. I usually listen to them, for example, when I wake up or if I make some food, especially uh, if I am alone at home, especially du during quarantine. Also, I listen to them when I am tidying my home and stuff. Yeah,